Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is part two of my Clementine cosplay. If you guys haven't seen how I created the actual costume, there is a DIY video in the description for you guys to check out. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I did the makeup for Clementine. So start off with a clean face. The first thing I'm going to do is brush my brows. So Clementine has really adorable puppy doll eyebrows, but unfortunately they aren't the same shape as my eyebrows. So I'm going to have to cover them up with some non-toxic water soluble glue. So I'm going to put this glue all along my eyebrows on both of them and make sure to let it dry. So now grab a popsicle stick and grab a larger dollop of glue and I'm just going to add this on the inner corners of my eyebrows. I noticed that her eyebrows do kind of match mine on the outer edges but the inside it looks completely different so I'm adding more glue on top of this. Make sure to smooth it out completely and let that dry. So once that's dry, you're going to grab a powder foundation and I am just adding this over the glue just to camouflage it with my skin. So I'm going to just go ahead and add this all over my eyelashes so that it really just the glue really picks it up. So this has to be powder first. So now your eyebrows are a little hidden. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab some foundation. I am using my favorite foundation. This is Urban Decay and I'm going to apply this all over my face along with my neck and my shoulders because Clementine has some really smooth skin all along her body. She just glows like a child. So once you have that done, I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and and add the foundation over my eyebrows. Try to blend it with the foundation that you already have so that it blends with the skin. So I'm just using my fingers to blend this with the rest of the foundation. So now your eyebrows are almost completely invisible. I'm just going in with some more foundation, trying to cover them up. So the next step is I'm going to grab a matte bronzer. This is Hoola by Benefit and it doesn't have any shimmer or shine. You want to make sure this is matte. And I'm just going to contour my face. So uh, she has really Really, really light cheeks, foreheads, and nose, as well as the chin. So you're gonna put that everywhere except those places. So make sure to put it all along the neck, all along the top of your forehead. Her face is really, really round and childlike, so I tried to achieve that by uh, placing some of the bronzer underneath my cheekbones. Also place some bronzer on the center of your nose, right between your eyes, and you're going to contour your nose a little bit. Uh, just to get some darker edges there and um, I'm also going to put some bronzer right underneath my eyebrows because her brow bones are not very deep so we want those to kind of be pushed back a little bit and we're gonna achieve that with the bronzer and the shading. Don't forget to add some bronzer right underneath your nose. Her bottom of her nose is really, really dark, so you may want to go a little darker with this. Also, don't forget to use some bronzer underneath your eyes on your lower lids. So Clem has a cute little button nose and we really want to accentuate that. So I'm adding some bronzer on my nostrils to push those back a little bit. So now you're done with the bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some highlight. And I am using Radiant Touch and I'm just going to place this everywhere where the light catches on her face. So that is underneath her eyes and that comes up all the way to the outside of her eyes as well. On the top of her lips, on her nose, her chin, and her forehead. So once you have the highlighter all set in place, I'm gonna grab a makeup sponge and I'm just going to blend this outward. Uh, we really want the skin to seem super smooth and youthful, so you want to blend this in really well. If you need to lighten up some areas again because you've lost the vibrance, go ahead and add some more highlighter on top of that and blend it outward again. I'm also going to place a little bit on my eyelid and blend that outward as well. So now for the eyebrows. I'm using an angled brush with Anastasia's powder. You can use pomade for this as well if you like, but I wanted her eyebrows to have a soft look to them. So I'm just extending my eyebrow angle a little bit more than it normally is because her eyebrows are pretty thick. It doesn't look like she plucks, so she has those very youthful eyebrows. 
They are a bit thin on the inner edges. Uh, that is the reasoning why I had to cover up my eyebrows. So now I'm gonna grab a darker eyeshadow and I'm gonna add more shadow and contrast underneath my neck and on my chin and jawline. Then I'm gonna grab Stila's liquid felt tip eyeliner and I'm going to make my eyes appear a little bit larger. And I'm gonna do this by adding the eyeliner just to the outer corners of my eyes, both on the top and the lower lashes, but don't go too far towards the center. You just wanna have it in the corners of your eyes. So now I'm adding mascara to my top lashes and I'm going to add a little bit of blush. This is Tarte and we're just going to put it a tiny bit of blush on her cheeks. So for her lips, I'm using a flesh tone. This is Sephora's Ingenious Lipstick and I'm just going to place this on both the top and lower lips. I'm also going to go in with the same eyeshadow that I used on my neck. Uh, I'm going to go in with this and darken it up a little bit, especially the top lip. Her top lip seems to be a little bit darker than the lower lip, so I'm just adding a little bit of color to it. And now with the same liquid liner that you used on your eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and create the markings that Clementine has on her face. This is going to really push it further and make it look like an illustration. So she has a line on her nose, line both edges of her nostrils, underneath her eyes, so her lower lid, and as well as just a small little line on the tip of her nose. I'm also going to extend the inner corners of my eyes. So now I'm using Meron's black body paint and I'm making really etchy lines around my neck and arms to really push the illustration style. Finally, go ahead and put on your wig cap and I am going to put on my wig. I bought this and it was an afro. I actually ended up cutting the top of it because it was too poofy, uh, but I am just pinning back the bangs and this is also going to keep the wig in place. Then once we have those in place and you like the way everything looks, go ahead and place on the cap that I showed you guys how to make in the previous video and pin that down as well. So I would say if I were to change anything, I would have cut the wig just a little bit more and maybe make her eyebrows a little bit more worried because she looks a little worried in the apocalypse. And that is it. You now have a complete guide on how to create Clementine. She is adorable. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. Let me know in the comment sections below who you would like me to cosplay as next. If you do recreate this look, please hashtag your creations, hashtag create CQ, because I would love to see everything you guys make. But thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck and have fun.